Of food, water, and medicine are in short supply in the Gaza Strip, but additional humanitarian aid for civilians is being held up in Congress. Some Republicans say taxpayer-funded supplies will end up directly in the hands of Hamas. 11 News reporter Jackie DeFusco is live in our Washington bureau. And Jackie, are those concerns valid? Jen, the sources I spoke to say it's always a risk, especially considering this is an active war zone. But I'm also told there are a number of safeguards in place to prevent that and that innocent lives are at stake in the absence of U.S. support. Trucks carrying scarce resources trickling into the Gaza Strip. The situation on the ground is horrific. Things are rapidly breaking down. Lack of food, lack of water. Uh, lack of fuel. Palestinian civilians suffering in the territory controlled by Hamas, the militant group that led the deadly attack on Israel last month that started the war. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency is the backbone of the humanitarian response in Gaza. Its biggest donor, the United States. American assistance and American leadership in rallying the rest of the world is simply critical to saving lives there. Alongside military aid to Israel, President Joe Biden has already announced $100 million of existing funds will go towards humanitarian assistance for the Palestinian people. Now, President Biden is asking lawmakers to approve even more money, a request some Republicans are rejecting in Congress. We need to stop the funding that enables Hamas's terror. For years, Hamas has stolen and abused international aid to Gaza. One expert from George Washington University weighs in on those claims. There's always going to be the very real chance that some of the aid will end up in the hands of Hamas. But the idea that somehow all the aid would end up, or even a good percentage of the aid would end up in Hamas, would probably be, I, I think, an exaggeration. The UN aid group on the ground says their staff is vetted extensively. They deliver supplies directly to civilians and any diversions must be reported to the United States. The arrival of the aid and its distribution is being monitored by both the United States and uh, Israeli authorities. Everyone is doing everything possible to ensure that this gets to the folks in need. It's still unclear at this point if additional humanitarian aid for Gaza will make the cut in Congress. Earlier this week, House Republicans excluded it from their bill that would provide an additional $14 billion for Israel. But it is expected to be included in a broader sen Senate funding package that more closely mirrors President Biden's proposal. Two sides are ultimately going to have to come together. Live in Washington, I'm Jackie DeFusco, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Jackie, thanks for joining us this morning.